What's up guys, it's BloxDevs back here for another video. Wait, what? BloxDevs? Yes, BloxDevs. And you've probably known me before as BabyDev, and if you don't, then simply go over and subscribe and hit that bell, because I know that video is going to be helpful. So, like I said, uh, this video is going to be able is, is how to make a simulator game on Roblox. This is probably the newest video on how to make a similar game on Roblox 2020 and if it isn't 2020 then it isn't but for me right now it is so let's get started the first thing you're going to do is paste that link which there will be right there down below in the description let's hit enter and you should go over here and you should say similar kits by Bloxy De Blox devs and obviously Box devs is us and if you may see it it's made by Pikachu Raya Yes, it is because I am Pikachu Raya. Uh, currently, I am Pikachu Raya, and I made it for you guys because you guys are my subscribers. And even if you're not, just go over and subscribe and hit that bell. If you guys want to know how to make more advanced simulators like Zaber Simulator with more GUIs and stuff, really complicated, then comment down below Zaber Simulator or Ninja's Legends, and I will try to do it for you guys. So, without further ado, let's go over and set that up. Go over here. And your Roblox Studio, and you should go to your models, and you should find that similar kit by Blox Devs. Drag it in, and click F to focus on. Please go over here, and you should see this: a little map with a shop and some random emojis. Don't touch with those. You just gotta follow the instructions, and everything will be working fine. So you open this up, and you will see all those models. Don't get confused. It's as simple as ungrouping them. You see, it will say ungroup them, server script service, ungroup workspace, ungroup replicated storage, ungroup server storage, and ungroup storage UI. That's literally all you have to do to make the simulator working. So put everything at its place here. Server script service, replicated storage, server storage, and workspace. Workspace is really important. Don't forget to ungroup it in a workspace or it wouldn't work. So you right click on this, ungroup, and ungroup everything else so it works. Remember, if you don't ungroup them, it wouldn't work because it will act as one whole model and the, um, the uh, destination will be different when in the code. So now if we go over and play, you're probably going to see that we already have a simulator. Here, we're going to spawn here. So just click shop. And you will go beside the shop go over here and you're gonna see all those emojis because we have I have made a emoji simulator for you guys click on the free one equip it and as you can see we have a face of an emoji and BAM it gives you a huge amount of money because I just wanted to show you guys that this does work and that's all the others do work and they're equipable and you can even see the little pop-up here of the emoji face and that's all for you guys that's pretty advanced I didn't really know how to do this but I made some more efforts for you guys so make sure to subscribe and hit that bell and hit that like button if I helped you a lot and now I will just be showing you guys how to change the value and the objects the items so the first thing you're gonna do if you want to change the items you're going to go in server storage items, open it up, and you will see all the tools. Go over and change the handle if you want to change the items. Don't touch to do is configure, queue perfection weld, and some other stuff because they're just a complicated stuff. Go over here, and if you want to go over and change the coins value, it's the coins how much the, the object will give you. And let's just put it back to 20, that's what it was. So it's actually acting like simulator and it's not too easy to uh, pass. So yeah, that's how you basically change the values and how you change the tools. If you guys wanna know how to change the ranks, then you only gotta do is go over in that ranks UI and you can change the ranks by simply renaming them. It's as simple as that. Don't forget to ungroup this, I really forgot to do it. And here there's a leaderboard handler, rank script, and more. And if you guys want to change that little pop-up of the emoji face when you click, then all you have to do is go over in your main UI, open handler, or sorry, local script, and 
you're going to go over and put the emoji you want in my case I just put an emoji or you will simply put an image ID here to make it to put an image which isn't an emoji so for me I just simply put it in emoji as simple as that for me and if you guys want to make put an image then simply copy and paste that link okay so as you can see we uh, we have it pretty much so here we got a simulator which works and you can buy stuff and get better so if you guys liked that video go over and drop a like go over and hit that subscribe button and that bell and if you guys want to know more about making similar games then simply comment down below similar games don't forget to hit that bell so you know when the videos go out and if you guys want me to make a more advanced simulator then comment down below again more advanced simulator so i hope you guys have enjoyed that video and again make sure to subscribe so see ya for another video